is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken. Today, guys, we are here for the Barnes & Noble 50% off Blu-ray trip. Guys, I am here. I'm at a Barnes & Noble. Can you see it? Can you see that? Can you see that big, beautiful Barnes & Noble sign? I'm here live in person on the 4th of July. So the store just opened, I think, like... 30, 45 minutes ago. I was a little hesitant because I didn't know if they'd be open on the 4th of July, but I looked up their hours and apparently they just closed two hours early. So if you want to go to Barnes and Noble to hunt for some criterions on 4th of July, you still can. But I've got some titles already picked out in my mind that I want to go for, that I want to grab here today. So this should be a pretty easy hunt, but I do like to support Barnes and Noble during this time. A lot of these titles are price matched on Amazon. I do like to shop in person. I love shopping for physical media in person. I would go to Barnes & Noble more often, but their prices are, are kind of ridiculous when you compare it to everybody else most of the time. So this is the best time to actually shop in person at Barnes & Noble. So guys, I'm excited. I'm excited to get some Criterion titles, some 4K, some Blu-rays for 50% off. Happy 4th of July to everybody that's in the States. If you're outside the States, Happy Thursday. But guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's get in there. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to shoot some footage. We're going to come back out. I'm going to show you what I got. You know the drill. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we go. It has been, it's been a while since I've been to Barnes & Noble. I don't know if it's been since November or not, but I can't imagine I came any time in between. So it might've been since November since I've been here, but I'm excited. Look at that big, beautiful Barnes & Noble sign. It's always fun coming here, guys. This is a fun time for collecting and physical media. I'm excited. Let's do it.
All right, guys, I am walking out of the Barnes & Noble. I got my sack of Blu-rays and 4Ks. What I'm going to do instead of doing this in the car, because they can get messy in there, um, I'm going to take these home. I'm going to go back to my, my nice movie and filming room, and I'm going to unbox this stuff for you and show you what I grabbed. So if you guys are ready for that, if you want to continue this journey, this Barnes & Noble Criteria journey, let's do it now. All right, guys, so we're back in the movie room, and I pretty much got everything that I set out to get uh, that was on my wish list video that I did a couple of weeks ago. So there's no real surprises here. There is one title uh, that I could not find. I could not find Peeping Tom on 4K, which is pretty disappointing because that was like maybe my top one that I wanted. Um, I did find the Blu-ray of Peeping Tom, but not the 4K. I even asked the person that worked there. Um, I will say it was very crowded. Like it was crowded and maybe it's a July 4th thing. People are off work. It was very crowded in the Barnes and Noble in general, but I've never seen so many people in the actual like movie section uh, browsing. So that was pretty cool to see, but also it made filming very awkward. So hopefully I got adequate um, enough footage for you guys. But I do have myself a full bag of criterions to get into. So yeah, I thought I'd just come back here because I wanted to not only show these off, but also unbox them for you all as well. All of these are releases. Uh, that have come out this year in 2024. So they're all relatively new. I, I thought about, you know, throwing a couple curveballs in there, picking up some past titles. I really thought about getting Repulsion, uh, the Roman Polanski film. I feel like I've heard some good things about that one. And there was a couple other ones I was looking at. I, I wanted The Brood. I do want The Brood in the collection at some point on Blu-ray David Cronenberg film. But I also feel like at some point they might do the brood on, on 4K because it's Cronenberg. They've done Videodrome. I think they're going to do scanners on 4K as well. So that's the only reason I'm kind of reluctant to get that one. But let's start off with uh, Girl Fights. This is the only Blu-ray that I got. I got four releases, guys, four releases. Uh, this is the only Blu-ray that I got. This is a Karen Kusama film. Uh, like I said in my wish list video, I could really see them doing... Uh, one of her other films, not Jennifer's Body, which is also a, a really good Karen Kusama film, uh, but The Invitation that I think came out in 2013, 2014, uh, maybe 2015, but that's a really good movie I stumbled upon on Netflix uh, back in the day, and I would love for them to get a hold of that film and put it out in the Criterion Collection on 4K. That would be freaking awesome if they did that. Um, all right, let's right, we're taking off the plastic here. So this has Michelle Rodriguez in it, and it's pretty cool because I'm looking at the back, and this is the year 2000, and I think Fast and the Furious came out in 2001, and then Resident Evil came out in 2002. So this is really before she kind of popped as an actress uh, there in the early 2000s. So I'm excited to check this one out. I've heard good things about it. Uh, people were pretty excited when this one got announced. So yeah, I got this one, a regular price of 40 bucks with the Criterion 50% off sale. It's $20. It's been like $27.99 on Amazon. So it, it's still an $8, you know, discount. It's still a good deal, guys, the Criterion Barnes & Noble sale. But, you know, usually it's it's $10 off 4K, $7, off, $7 $8 off of Blu-rays. Uh, not too much cheaper than it usually is on Amazon, but it is 50% off of SRP, what Barnes & Noble usually has it priced at. But looking at the, uh, the back right here, came out in the year 2000. I'll show you all the synopsis and the special features and stuff at the bottom. Pretty sure there's some some new uh, special features here with the director and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Open this up. We got a little booklet inside, it seems, and I like the disc art. I think the disc art's pretty cool. Nice pink C on that disc art. And we got a nice little... Oh, this isn't a booklet. It's kind of like a brochure deal, but cool. I'm sure it has some interesting stuff on the film inside. And then we've got some... Um, not really interior, so interior artwork, I guess. No real images from the movie, but yeah, I'm excited to check this one out. I don't know if it's like the girl version of Fight Club or what this is, but I'm going to check it out at some point. Um, let's just go ahead and get into this one. We've got uh, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. So this is the one that I was really hoping I would find in stores. This one just came out on July the 2nd, so it's a newer release. Um, but I am really looking forward to watching this one. This is a Sam Peckinpah film. The Wild Bunch would be an incredible uh, Criterion release. I feel like Warner Brothers will do that themselves probably, but that would be really cool if they gave that one to Criterion to do. Uh, for sure, and another nice box set. But Sam Peckinpah, from what I've seen of him, is a very interesting 
um, and very uh, stylish filmmaker. So I'm looking forward to see uh, seeing this film and see what he did with it. This is one that came out in, uh, I don't really know too much about this at all, but this is the 50th anniversary. So this came out in 1973. Nice big digi box set. I love my Criterion digi books uh, for sure. So this was definitely one that uh, I knew I was going to wait on Risky Business, but Pat Garrett and Billy Kidd, I wanted to get this one right away. Um, you know, and conveniently, it came out during the uh, Criterion sale. So we'll take the plastic off here, guys. Um, and this one has got Chris Kristofferson in it and James Coburn. Um, so yeah, very, very good cast. Show you without the, uh, without the plastic on it. Just a really nice addition. I think this has multiple cuts on it as well. But we take it out of the nice, nice slip box. It feels a little harder than the usual... Uh, criterion slip box but you got some nice uh, artwork on the inside as well some really good stuff we open this up there is a little booklet inside and this is a this is a forward disc set guys this one is more expensive um, it's seventy dollars srp um, but during the criterion sale it's thirty five dollars and i think on amazon the regular price is going to be fifty bucks so this one's kind of fifteen dollars off of that regular amazon price but we do have four discs in this set. That's why it's a little bit more expensive. We do have, I believe, two 4Ks, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Um, and we have the original theatrical release in 4K. And I'm guessing this is a 50th anniversary release. So I think this is a new cut of the film. Is this a new cut of the film? It just might be. Uh, but we got two 4Ks of both of those cuts. And then we got uh, two Blu-rays of... Well, the, this Blu-ray has the original uh, theatrical release and the 50th anniversary release on this Blu-ray. And then on this uh, Blu-ray disc, we have the final cut preview. So there's three cuts included um, in this set. And I imagine the special features are um, on those two Blu-ray discs. So really great stuff, guys. I am excited to dive into this one. Uh, will I review this? It's very possible. It's very possible I do a review. Got a nice little pamphlet on the inside. Same as Girl Fight. Um, so yeah, definitely definitely look for that on the channel. Now, with these bigger like digi boxes, like I, I expect a little bit more than a than a brochure uh, pamphlet from Criterion. Like I feel like they should have gave us some kind of little booklets or uh, of some kind. Um, but you know, it, it's okay. It's a it's a nice set. You know, it has what I don't really love, which is the little plastic holders on the inside. Um, because those can break so easily, but it, it's still a nice set. It's still a nice set. I'm not hating on it. I'm not hating on it. It's a nice set, and I'm happy to have it um, in the collection. So let me put this back in the in the holder. We got Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Three cuts. Three cuts in this. Two on 4K. All right, let me throw my plastic down here. We have next up, guys, Bound. So I knew I wanted to get this one. Uh, you got Jennifer Tilly, uh, Gina Gershon. It's directed by the Wachowskis, same people that did The, the Matrix. So uh, we also got director approved sticker on there, the Wachowskis. So I guess they did the uh, the 4K approval. So that is cool. Let's take the uh, the plastic off. Really looking forward to watching this one. I, I've heard it's uh, kind of like a, a 90s thriller noir, you know, and I'm, I'm really digging those, the ones that I've watched lately. Um, I watched the entire John Dahl. Uh, what they call trilogy is not really a trilogy, an unofficial official trilogy with The Last Seduction, Red Rock West, and um, Kill Me Again, I, I think is what that one is. But I watched all three of those. And of course, um, Unlawful Entry is a great thriller from the 90s. But I really like these 90s thrillers. And this one looks pretty steamy. Pretty steamy. So I'm excited to check this one out. Bound. I think this one had like a hard box set at some point from maybe Olive Films, I, I think. Um, but this is definitely the definitive version of Bound. I'm sure we've got a lot of good uh, new special features on here as well. Uh, we've got an audio commentary with the directors. Um, and Jennifer Tilly and Gina Gershon, it looks like. I wonder if they got Jennifer Tilly to, to do any new interviews um, on here. But I guess we'll find out. Bound on 4K, guys. Let's open this up. And we got another you know, nice little, nice little booklet pamphlet on the inside with Jennifer Tilly and Gina on both sides. Um, Gina was really hitting it in the 90s. I mean, between this film and you got Showgirls and 
you know, she was on fire. I like the disc, though. You got the the rope on the disc. I don't know the significance of the rope. I guess I'll find out when I watch it. Uh, but this does have a 4K, and it also has a Blu-ray in here as well. And we do have some interior um, images as well from the film. So very cool. Let me put this back in here. Yep, 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 yep. Um, Criterion's had some good stuff this year. They've really had some good stuff this year, but like like I've said in previous videos, I just don't grab everything Criterion day one because I know these sales are coming and I can get them for cheaper, uh, so I don't gravitate towards them. Um, to Die For is the next one that I got right here, Nicole Kidman film. Um, I think this one also has, does this one have Matt Dillon? Uh, did I make that up in my mind? Yes, it has Matt Dillon. Joaquin Phoenix is also in this film. This is a Gus Van Sant film. Uh, film. So same director that did uh, Good Will Hunting. And this was also a director approved 4K. Do they put that on all the... I never... I've noticed these stickers, but I never noticed like... Are they, do they only put these on there if they're director approved uh, restorations? I wonder that. Uh, but let's take this plastic off, guys. You got Nicole Kidman. She's smiling like a maniac on this cover. Look at her. Look at her. Um, I just watched a Nicole Kidman movie. What was it? Oh, it was that stupid Netflix movie with Zac Efron. That's what it was that my wife and I reviewed on our channel. Um, but Nicole Kidman, this is, this is uh, what is this? 1995. This is the same year that she did Batman Forever. So Nicole Kidman um, in Batman Forever, same time, did To Die For. I got to check this out. This is peak. Uh, Nicole Kidman uh, right here so look at the synopsis on the back you got uh, some special features right there casting list open this up um, oh I like this I like this on the inside nice little newspaper style uh, booklet pamphlet thing so that's cool yeah I'm excited to check this one out I don't know too much about this one I've heard of this film I've always heard of this film another 90s thriller um, oh, it looks like it has Red Foreman in it as well, <laughs> and the and the villain from RoboCop. Uh, but you do have some nice disc art on here, which I think is pretty cool. I think this was a March release. Didn't this one come out March or April, maybe? Um, so yeah, we'll take these discs out, and you got some interior artwork as well. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to watch all these. Look, I I'm trying to really hone in on the criteria movies that I know. I will watch. I don't want to collect a bunch of. Uh, I feel like in the beginning when I started collecting for Criterion, and I'm, I'm collecting a lot of like 60s, 70s, like foreign films and things like that. I've still got like Stalker back there on the shelf, which a lot of people said it's a great movie. Maybe I need to check it out. Um, but they're just hard, they're hard for me to get into watching. These are movies right here that I'm probably going to check out within hopefully the next like month or two um, because I'm interested and really want to see all of these. So I'm trying to. Hone in on those type of movies, movies that I know I will check out. Um, but that's the haul, guys. I showed off everything to die for, right? I'm all over the place. Let me put the booklet back in here. I got four releases. Will I go back again? It's possible, maybe towards the end of the month. I do still need to try to find Peeping Tom. There is another Barnes & Noble store um, in my area, so maybe I'll hit up another Barnes & Noble to see if I can find Peeping Tom. Maybe I'll get a couple other uh, Blu-ray titles. I did kind of want Dogfight. That's one that came out this year that I kind of wanted. I've heard some really good things about that. Lily uh, Taylor and uh, River Phoenix is in that one. So, But that's my haul for the day, guys. Four titles. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos. And follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description. And we'll see you next time.